What's up, family? Ron DeSantis is an uncivilized mutt. It's easy to see it, fam. All you got to do is just watch his behavior. He is among the worst of the worst. This guy, as governor of Florida, is sending teachers to civic classes and teaching them that George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were anti-slavery. Now, some of you are saying, well, were they? Were they? Were they? Family, let me just talk to the common sense people. It would be very difficult to convince me that you were anti-slavery if you indeed owned slaves, like those two uncivilized mutts did. They got some nerve, fam, where they just, just, you know what? Reality doesn't matter. These are the same people that are telling trans people to get a grip on reality. Stop living in fantasy land, la la land. Stop make-believing. Stop pretending. But yet, when it comes to slavery, when it comes to their past, America's real past, with how it conducted its business with black folks, they want to forget, not just forget, omit. They want the truth taken out and replaced with lies. They don't want to just omit the truth. They want the truth replaced with lies. How could those two uncivilized mutts be against before slavery, when they have slaves, when they're prop profiting off slaves, off human slave labor. How? It's impossible. Look, fam, the way this country is and its history, how they don't want it to be told, it's very similar to lying when people go to lie at funerals. You know how when somebody dies, oh, they, they didn't do no wrong. They just, you know, you know how it always start off, especially in the black church. He found Christ at an early age. <laughs> Everybody found Christ at an early age. Look, fam. Maybe I did find Christ at an early age, but I lost him at some point. So do not put that in my eulogy. Dude, I don't want to I don't want to hear all of that. You know, it sound it sounds pretentious. You know? I don't even I don't I don't want none of that old regular stuff like perhaps you stopped by the family house, perhaps you made a phone call. We got to be, you know, be a little original, man. You know, like, I seem like they just cut and paste all these funeral programs. How did I get on that in the first place? I don't know, man. Uh, moving on, moving on. And anyway, at any rate, back to these uncivilized mutts. Fam, oh, I know how I got on it because 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 of the lie. You know, it's the, it's the, the grand lie. Like, once a person dies, all of their wrongs are forgiven. No, no. That mutt, Carolyn Bryant, uh, uh, what's her name? Last name, is it Dottom? Dottom, I think. Whatever. The one who had Emmett Smith killed, the one who lied on Emmett Smith, that uncivilized mutt just died. And I told the truth about her and a lot of other people told the truth about her because that's the way she lived her life as an evil, wicked, uncivilized mutt who got a 14 year old who, whose lie set off the event that got a 14 year old boy killed, shot in the head, beaten, shot in the head and thrown in Tallahatchie River. Unredeemable, unredeemable. 
when you live your life, however you live your life, that's your eulogy. If you don't want nobody talking bad about what you did, don't do it. America, if you don't want, didn't want anybody talking bad about what you did hundreds of years ago, you shouldn't have done it. If you don't want them talking bad about you in the future for what you're doing right now, you need to stop doing it right now. Make amends, clean up your act, and behave like a civilized society. When this story is told, the way we're living right now, when that story is told, if we ever get to a point where we evolve into a civilized society, those people are going to look back and be like, they were savages. And we thought that these fools were savages back in slavery, and they were. But the murders that are happening today in America, I got to say it's way more murders happening today. And everybody getting it. Ron DeSantis, what a, what a poor excuse for a human being, and I say human being with great caution. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?